Kathleen, your takeaway so far? Hawkish, there you go. Uh, inflation remains too high. They see the rate peaking now at 4.1 versus 3.9, which they said at uh, what, what they projected at the last meeting. Uh, they are talking about inflation slowing, though, to 3% by the second quarter. So that might be a little hopeful. But remember, this is only the third quarter of 2022. So they're holding out some hope for the future. And so saying it peaks of 4.1 in terms of 3.9 is not so bad. But for now, would you not agree that this underscores the market sense? Uh, economists forecast that two more 50 basis point rate hikes are coming. Uh, then they'll uh, look what they do at the beginning of next year. But uh, more could be coming then as well. But clearly, any sense that they're ready to let up is not there yet. Kathleen, they're giving some guidance to, I think you you mentioned the, the actual figure, 4.1% average uh, cash rate, second quarter 2023, 4.1%. You look at the third quarter for that year, also 4.1%. Are they telling us they'll stop hiking rates at about that time? That's what they're figuring they'll do, Dave, but we can assume that what we're going to hear from Adrian Orr at the press conferences, this is assuming that inflation starts to come down because they also see it starting to come down. However, what will be really interesting to hear from the press conference, and I think when you say, Kathleen, also 4.1 in the following quarter, is they're also maybe signaling, don't expect us to stop hiking rates, say, okay, inflation's under control, and start bringing, bringing rates down immediately. Uh, again, there's going to be a lot more information from Adrian Orr in the in well, just about an hour from now, we'll, you, we'll all be covering it very closely. Uh, however, uh, as expected, pretty much, but not the least bit dovish yet. Yep, the, the big takeaway is they will remain appropriate to continue tightening at pace here for the RBNZ. Kathleen, I have to ask what we're expecting in a few hours, the, these FOMC minutes. Uh, I think everyone's hoping that we could be seeing some signs of a Fed pivot. Are we actually going to get it? I think well, a lot of people are saying you can hope however you want, but Jay Powell's main message was not a pivot. What did people hear from Jay Powell, the presser, that made them think about a pivot? Well, for one thing, he was talking about 75 basis point rate hike could be appropriate at the September meeting, but they would have to watch the data. Oh, that must mean he's opening the door to 50. Well, of course, he was, right? He wasn't going to stop hiking rates. Maybe 50 be appropriate. Also, Jay Powell said uh, that the, the Fed was it neutral? Many economists, especially those who follow the Fed closely, think oh. he misspoke because the long-term neutral rate is 2.5%. The, the, the current neutral rate could be much higher. And finally, the thing that, that certainly struck me even during the press conference was he says, if you, if you, if you want a signal of where we're heading, just look at the dots from the last meeting, our, our interest rate forecast, because what you see there is that they can we will hike rates to, up to about 3.4, 3.5 by the end of this year, and then probably up to 4% or so in the second half of next year. I hardly would call that. I don't think anyone would call that a dovish pivot. But I think investors, David, are so eager to get the pivot and hoping that, gee, they'll, they'll give us a little sign of hope that they're looking for the pivot when it isn't there yet. The Fed wants to pivot too, but they're not going to pivot until they see the, the door is clearly open, that they've done enough of getting inflation under control. So I think that's going to be one of the key things people are looking for in the minutes when they come out uh, in the U.S. Just about... Uh, well, what, 14 hours from now? 16? I can't add fast enough. 